a long day out of me. Let's see what's on the agenda today. Oh, how did that slip my mind? I forgot about that Alan Tyler video that I made. Well, I'm sure I reached the 100 views count that it made, but let me just check anyway. That is way more than 100. How, how did this happen? What, what were people smoking? Well, shit, I did make a promise that if it went over 100, we would do a in reading. And it is way over that mark by 18 times. So, all right. Well, it's time to drive. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I wonder who's at the door. Hey, how did you get my out just? Yeah, don't worry about it, man. We gotta start filming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know you guys don't usually see me with face tan while <laughs> doing what bad stuff, but it's very special today. I got my friend Kenzie with me. Hello! Because as promised, if we got over 100 views on that Ella Tyler video, we would do another reading, IRL, and you guys are... <laughs> I don't know if it was it like International Ella Tyler Day because <laughs> I guess so. It like, like, cause like it spiked out of nowhere. Yeah, I got back from vacation, checked it. I'm like, why does it say 1.4 k? Hey, <laughs> what were you guys smoking? Can I have some? Just <laughs> it's a little concerning to just come back and everyone's like, right. like be like more, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, but well, as promised, uh, we're gonna be reading more, and um, yeah, we found this lovely book by Gwenny, Gwenny Gw Wenny, Gwenny Wen, yeah, Gwenny Wenny. Yep, <laughs> I read that, <laughs> and uh, I don't even know if I should even read the description. It's so jumbled, but I will read. Will Tyler and Alejand? Will Will Tyler accept Alejandro's request? Find out next time on Total Drama World Tour. Yep. Basically Appar just, like, copied out of the... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Probably just copied out of the, one of the uh, paragraphs yeah. from one of the chapters, but... <laughs> But uh, we're going to be probably reading this entire thing. It's only a 32-minute read. Yeah. I don't see why we couldn't get through it since five chapters of this is our author notes. Uh -huh. So I don't see why. <laughs> yeah. We'll get through this without a hitch. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. I guess just a more intro. A more. All right. I don't have a, a thing with me to flip. I'm just realizing that now. <laughs> I don't have a penny. All right, I we're, got the servo. we're doing a classic. Do you want to be the front side or back side? I'll do the buttons. The buttons. Yeah. Okay. I'll be the back side. Throw on the carpet, please. I don't want to break your yeah, remote. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Back oh. side. All right. <laughs> Guess I'll be ready first then. All righty. What an honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. And then. And then as you're scrolling, you can probably just do the little yeah. buttons okay. on the side. Mia Moore, let's go. The teams had just merged and Tyler has won the most challenges in a row. Alejandro was sitting in first class across the table from Tyler. In all honesty, he thought Tyler was quite... Was quiet. <laughs> <Come on>. Youthful. <laughs> We're already getting into the bromance. Like, yeah. This is the way I describe my character. Like my... Uh, my, my <laughs> <laughs> like Sandra, like he was absolutely beautiful. His gorgeous eyes, his blonde <laughs> hair, <laughs> the way his brown eyes sparkled whenever he won a challenge, the way he smiled with his stupid perfect teeth. <laughs> Tyler was probably the only person on his phone he found. Oh, oh on this plane. Why did I? I said phone. <laughs> He felt as gorgeous as he was. Tyler was the only person who would, 
who would allow to call him AI shit? <laughs> Oh, so, no, hey, Al. Oh, Al. Remember, shit. he fucking hates it when people call him Al. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember. <laughs> Al shit. What? I read that as AI for some reason. <laughs> he's a robot. It's canon. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, a robot. Exactly. <laughs> it what, was it, was it norm for him to, to, to feel like this over a guy? Jose would barely. Ho, oh, Jose would bully him so hard if he heard what what his little brother was thinking why did alejandro this this a man was beautiful <laughs> was this a man that was beautiful yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yes he himself was beautiful but another man Th- that wasn't normal at least not in the in the borough borough marita i cannot read spanish yeah borough marito family Every man married a woman who either who either they or their father choose. Alejandro wasn't supposed to feel this way over a man, and definitely not over Tyler. <laughs> He's like, I cannot believe I'm falling for that, let alone Tyler. <laughs> right? <laughs> what a choice. <laughs> right? A choice indeed. Let alone... Okay, let... With this stupid voice... Okay, yeah, with a stupid voice. I'm, I'm trying to keep track of this for a second. With, with a stupid voice and sexy hair, and they put and twice, but and and fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh! The oh my gosh! The gay panic. <laughs> Tyler started talking to Alejandro with uh, about about what they're about what they're going to do in the merge. Play it cool. Play it cool. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Oh, I love this. The merge sucks, man, Tyler says to Alejandro. That team had helped me so much, especially you, Al. The older boy smiles and rubs the back of his hand ahead. Al? Al? Are you there? Tyler says after a few minutes of talking with no response. Alejandro shook his head and looked into Tyler's brown eyes. <laughs> See, Alejandro responded and rubbed his hands across his face. He felt stressed over what he thought of liking a guy, and then it hit him. He could test the waters at all with Tyler and see if the older boy liked him too, and just the, use the excuse of being in an alliance. Tyler, if I were to say found you quite beautiful, would you? What would you think? What the fuck does it say? Gabapo? Guapo? I. I have no idea. <laughs> I guess friend is what that means. I don't know. Yeah. I don't speak Spanish. Me neither. <laughs> Alejandro says he stared at Tyler. He raised an eyebrow at the man and gave him his signature smile. Tyler rubbed the back of his head and responded, Al, I told you. I like girls. Tyler <laughs> 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 <Another> says. <sense. laughs> he looked at the younger man's eyes. Tyler thought about Lindsay and how he had to win it for her. How he had loved her. How he wished she wouldn't have been voted out. Alejandro scoffed and raised his left eyebrow to match his right. A, uh, I don't know. A, <laughs> um, es- a splendido? I think, like, excellent? Yeah. You don't understand, do you? Alejandro <laughs> shook his head. Tyler, amigo, I, the most <laughs> beautiful man in this show's history, is calling you gorgeous. <laughs> Alejandro said as he extended his arm over to table to grab Tyler's. The older man tensed his arm. Mi amigo, if just a mere compliment, no need to get so defensive. Alejandro rested his eyebrows. Alejandro (laughs) untensed his body and sighed. I know, but why are you complimenting me? Out of all the people on this plane, Alejandro, uh, sorry, Tyler asked. He was genuinely wondering. He thought Alejandro liked Heather. Well, Tyler, I'm thinking, since the teens merged last episode, we stay together, hmm? Form a secret alliance, Alejandro suggests and smirks at Tyler. <laughs> Good morning, contestants! Today we're going to be doing something special, so save the date before we land! Chris <laughs> yells over the speaker, which made everyone in the first class groan. Tyler had won the last few challenges in a row, either for his team or for himself. But either way, he chose Alejandro to accompany him. <laughs> Alright, you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tyler sighed and narrowed his eyes at Alejandro. I know that what you did to Chulasana and Bridget, and I'm not going to let you play 
play my Lyle. Well, I guess it's supposed to be play me like that. Oh, play me, play me like you, play me like you did them. Man, Tyler mumbles. He found Alejandro quite attractive. But then again, so did everyone. No, no, Amor, don't get me wrong. I did seduce Stum to just to get closer to victory. But you, Tyler, you are different. Gaslighting him for real right now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Alejandro smirks and grabs Tyler's hand once more. This time he doesn't tense up and he, and he lets it happen. Okay, Al, I'm choosing to trust you, but if you betray me like you did to Lashana and Bridget, you'll be sorry, Tyler threatens the Spaniard, <laughs> not really meaning it because he knew Alejandro could beat him in a fight. I, Tyler, t- I, Tyler Amigo, you, you, you won't regret this alliance. Alejandro spurred and squeezed the jock's hand. <laughs> Dude, they're being weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone off the plane. Everyone off the plane. We're in New York, Chris exclaimed and hung up eruptively. Tyler and Alejandro quickly stood up and walked towards the exit. Oh, Al? Tyler said before they walked out. Alejandro turned to him and raised an eyebrow. Yes, amigo? He said with a confused voice. Why didn't you call me a mort earlier? I know what it means. I I know that it means love. Oh shit, drama! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. Tiamol. <laughs> Tiamol. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be short because it's 5:54 p.m. and I have school in the morning. Just like back in the Wattpad after being gone for a mental break, so oh. I'm gonna give you all an upgrade. All right, okay. update. Shit, not an upgrade. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's see. Elamor, Alejandro Marto, honor roll, attractive, charismatic. What's not to like? Except for the fact that he's a manipulative bastard. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, my God. This is like... <laughs> you know those girls that like like ghost and shit like that? Mm-hmm. Like like the Call of Duty boys or just like serial killers? This is them. Yeah, this is being it like, is. What's not to love? Except that he's a murderer. Right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> every time he's charmed, every girl he's charmed, he got eliminated, including Heather. Wait, including Heather Kaskua? What? I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> she vowed to never let a man get in between her and the wedding. Alejandro faked romantic feelings for almost every girl on Total Drama World Tour, except for Gwen and Sue. Saria? Sierra. Sierra, that's right, sorry. <laughs> they were, well, not big targets. But Tyler Kenward, a stupid jog. His own girlfriend forgot his name for seven episodes. <laughs> but he made it to the merge, surprisingly. No one, not even the Aftermath show, thought he would make it this far. He had absolutely no strategy, except for the fact that he was determined to win so he can get himself and his siblings out of their toxic household. He was a loyal to one girl through the entire show. Though they are complete opposites, for some weird reason, these two were drawn to each other, like a magnet in a fridge, like two swans in an empty lake. They were inseparable. Man, he's crushing hard. This dude's down bad, gay. Yep. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) You can go ahead. Okay. Although Alejandro never let it go, he loved Tyler very deeply. It was an odd feeling to it was, it was an odd feeling to be involved with some to be in love with someone. It made Alejandro feel like an, an achy mess. Like she never I mean like whenever he opened his mouth whenever <laughs> That's so weird how it's spelled like that, she never like whenever he opened his mouth or, or Whenever he opened his mouth around around the brunette shock, he felt lightheaded, like the man was going to be the death of him. <laughs> the two men were sitting in first class conversing while everyone else slept in the common area. The teenage boys weren't tired tired or bored of each other. They they just kept talking and talking. Although Tyler talked more, Alejandro would occasionally add to whatever the jocks said. Relating and so. (laughs) 
Al- Tyler loved Alejandro, but not in the way you think. Tyler loved him as a best friend. He he wanted the best for Al. He also wanted the band to be happy all the time. Damn, man, got friend zone. Right. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Tyler might have had a small crush on Alejandro, but can you blame him? Alejandro is hot <laughs> with the Spanish <laughs> accent and the this- <laughs> Is this how I'm like people look at me weird when like I'm like I'm like I like Duncan, how can you blame me? He's hot. <laughs> right? <laughs> and he is hot. Yeah, he's got, he's got green hair and <laughs> hair, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> I love the. Can you blame him? Alejandro was hot. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh my gosh, I love it. And hair and pegs <laughs> and ocean and Pia got Alejandro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I think this is too much for us to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until we get to chapter seven. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. The two guys were an unlikely pair, but a fan favorite. Sierra <laughs> said on her blog, Alejandro was the brain and the look of their operation. Tyler was, well, uh, Tyler of the operation. <laughs> Realistically, Alejandro could have won alone, but Tyler was valuable and hot in Al's eyes. So take a win where you can get one. <laughs> Where does this take place? Like, right when the, the thing started, or what? Like, where does this take I place? I don't know. <laughs> okay. This chapter is set in the Niagara Brawls episode, where uh-huh. they get arranged marriages and shit. I don't know. You probably know what I'm talking about, so just go with me on this one. So Heather isn't in here anymore. Apparently she got voted off. So I'm guessing in oh. Heather's spot, Tyler made it through. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, because they're like, man, he did that to us. The Lashana and Bridget, even Heather yeah. got voted out. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> So wait a minute, wait, I thought it was supposed to be the chicks gets, like, uh, the chicks pulled the lever and then the guy comes down. So did they just not have enough girls and they're like, ah, oh, fuck it, Tyler, come over here, <laughs> right? I, I guess so. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, we have an odd amount of guys to chicks, so Tyler, <laughs> you're a bride now. Have fun wearing a dress. <laughs> he said with a cheeky smirk. He chuckled and explained the challenge. Oh, the great. That is what happened. He's just like, so yeah, there's an odd number, so uh, Tyler, you're pretty feminine. You're yeah, a pretty feminine. You know. guy. <laughs> so you can wear this dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we made sure to fit it to your exact measurements. <laughs> yeah. After almost everyone went, it was Tyler's turn. Oh, wait, did, did they put, like, an A at the end, like, as a typo, Ty- or because, like, he's now on the girl's side? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. I can't tell. There are two guys left in the slot machine, Alejandro and Duncan. Tyler would have had to care for either knowing, but as they were both nice to him. Tyler pulled the lever and got three of the little circle thingies landed on Alejandro's face. Howard's face lit up immediately. He was secretly hoping to get Al. <laughs> He's gay. Yes. <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. As this the Spaniard came plummeting out of the slot machine, Corny rolled her eyes, mm-hmm. knowing that she was now paired with Duncan. Hey, mm-hmm. amigo, are you excited to wear a dress? Alejandro <laughs> teased the other boy as he <laughs> clung into his arm. Shut up, Al. I'm only wearing it to get closer to the million. Tyler chuckled and sh- and pushed his best friend slightly. All right, you go. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> Literally, Alejandro's crush on the jock was so obvious. Even Co- even Cody um yeah, oh e- even Cody had pointed it out. But Tyler is running in two brain cells, so he didn't really know know much about the crush. Chris just like Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> He's he like yeah, same. probably. They both shared the brain cell, and none of them have possession of it right yeah. now. <laughs> Chris then explained the next part of the challenge: how 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 you had to guide your wife or husband <laughs> through the maze to to their dress. Alejandro took took his time guiding Tyler, making sure the man wouldn't fall into any of the muddy pools or walk into the giant cakes. They they were the first duo to make it, and and Tyler quickly changed into the dress. 
Why, why does it curve on my body like that, man? <laughs> why do girls enjoy these things? Tyler complained. <laughs> Cordy, Cordy could hear. Cordy could be heard scoffing. We, we, we don't. We just do it because men only think we. <laughs> men only think. <laughs> you got that right, sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was. That? <laughs> Tyler shrugged, not really knowing much about the girls or their feelings. Him, him, and and Alejandro. Joe, raised to the next part of the challenge. All right, let's see. They crossed the bridge safely, answered all the questions correctly, but before Chef gave them the go to win, Chris McLean showed up. The jock and the Spaniard, odd couple, but a fan favorite, Chris smirks. Everyone's seen the, seen the looks you give Tyler over the season, Alejandro, Chris whispers, raising his eyebrow and winking when he said it. Alejandro's face went flushed. <laughs> So, since the, this is a wedding challenge and all, how about we sealed the deal with a quick kiss with the bride and groom, huh? Chris said, not even joking one bit. <laughs> Andre looks a... What does that even say? Sarid panicked. <laughs> I don't know. For a second before going back to his calm nor- normality. <laughs> like this? Like here? Right now? On international TV? Alejandro asked. Chris responded with a nod. Tyler looked shocked, but then turned to Alejandro. He whispered something that only Alejandro could hear, and then the two were kissing like virgins. <laughs> oh my gosh! I love how they specified the virgin part. Virgin, you know, like, that yeah. really made the, the story come alive for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Same here. They lo- the kiss looked so uncomfortable, but it was so needed on Alejandro's side. <laughs> he felt his heart beat quickly as he attempted to deepen the kiss. <laughs> Chris interrupted. Congratulations, Tyler Alejandro. You've won invincibility. <laughs> I guess everything does work out one way or another. Yep, exactly. Yeah. I love that person that like, at the very end was like, a win's a win. <laughs> yep. 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 Tiamo, chapter three. Chapter three. <laughs> Update, because I got bored and sick of crying my eyes out. I love y'all. I love you all. so, m- And thank you so much for all the support. All right. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> In good honor of winning the marriage challenge, the boys got first class all to themselves. Chris asked Alejandro. Chris asked Alejandro if he wanted to spend it, spend it full honeymoon style. Chris, what the fuck? These are teenagers, <laughs> right? I F Y Quim. I think they meant to put Alejandro and Tyler, but. I don't know what even the, yeah I guess yeah Alejandro and Tyler were all confused. And Tyler was hella confused. I mean he knew he knew that on honeymoons people had sex, but he didn't know that two guys couldn't have sex. You know, bro, you stupid. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Alejandro was so dumb. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alejandro denied Chris's Chris's question and got Chef to bring them a few bottles of champagne, which got the two boys fucked up. Bro, they're underage. You can't give them alcohol. <laughs> what is going on here? Bro is live cat like broadcasting a crime right now. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, 1:58 a.m., Tyler was laying on his head on Alejandro's lap, and Alejandro was rum- running his hands through the jock's hair. Dude, Al, do you ever think about what Lindsay is doing right now? Tyler mumbles. He obviously missed his girlfriend a lot. Not, not really, not really, Mavita. But sometimes, but sometimes I think about what Heather's doing. Such a shame she got voted out. Alejandro chuckled. He had seduced her, making her team lose the challenge. Damn. <laughs> oh right. You hooked up with Heather in the confession. What? <laughs> I remember seeing that. Wait, is this a, what universe is this? I don't remember that happening. I don't mean either. Hold on. <laughs> what? Pause. What the fuck did I just read? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Tyler saw. It. What? What is it like? Um. What? It's giving the same vibe of like when Duncan and Gwen were kissing in the confessional, and Tyler like poked his head and was like. Yeah. What? <laughs> like, yeah. 
the, the, I don't know. Me neither. I guess I'll find out what I'm reading. Yeah. How to confess. Oh, Hundred's <laughs> eyes went wide with panic. Excuse me, Amor? I never had sexual intercourse on this plane. <laughs> Alejandro plainly lied. He practically hooked up with everyone except for Tyler, Boyley, and Owen. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that implies that he did it with Duncan. Oh no! Because he listed the three people he has not done it with. Oh my gosh! Dude, you remember that the, the, the Duncan and Alejandro thing that we read? Yes, yes! Yeah. That makes that book canon. <laughs> oh my it's like nowhere. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't sleep but plainly. I guess. I guess yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. But I saw you. It kind of looked funny. <laughs> You're so lucky. On your side at 18. Okay, they're 18, but still <laughs> underage to not. Like, you can't drink at 18. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> at 18, he was still a virgin, and it made him feel like he was behind everyone else. Mi vida. It's not really that fun. Not when you don't enjoy it, Alejandro whispered. The only people who probably had fun having sex was with Duncan and no <laughs> <laughs> It had an urge I haven't had in a while. Where, like, sometimes when you're reading a fan fiction and it's, like, wild, and you just kind of, like, stand up and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> had the urge to just walk away. He's <laughs> like, what did I just read? <laughs> right. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't you enjoy it? Heather's hot. <laughs> Tyler blurted it out. Like saying anything like that would increase his chance of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tyler, can I tell you something? Alejandro asked, knowing Tyler probably wouldn't remember come morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course, Al. Whatever you need. <laughs> Tyler responds with a huge smile. He loved his best friend. Well, Tyler, I'm... Uh, Gay. <laughs> Alejandro <laughs> omitted for the first time in his life. He hadn't accepted it until a few hours ago what? when he kissed Tyler on national television. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. Like, for real? <laughs> Tyler is then shocked. I hope, I hope if I ever come out to someone as, like, agendered or asexual, I hope they go, oh, shit. Like, for real? <laughs> right? Like, instead of being, like, accepting, I want that to be the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He never expected Alejandro, woman, woman seducer, to be gay. Alejandro shook his head yes and hummed, Dude, that's awesome! Tyler responded and kissed Alejandro. Oh. To this day, no one knows if it was out of love or just because Tyler didn't know how to respond. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good, you're good. I, I, I need a moment. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> Oh. oh gosh. I actually have nothing better to do than this. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We All can right. probably do two more chapters. Yeah. This. When the boys woke up, neither had neither had any memory of whatever happened last night. Alejandro woke up with a pounding headache and just laid there for a few minutes while Tyler slept. The jock was laying on Alejandro's lap with his body spread across two chairs. Alejandro ran us through Ran his fingers through the boy boy's hair with a smile. Oh, maybe, I lied. Maybe Alejandro wasn't as drunk as everyone thought, and he remembered the kiss. But he would never tell Alejandro that. Never, never tell Tyler. Basically, yeah. Oh, wait, never tell Tyler. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Alejandro would never tell Alejandro what just happened. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He basically knew that Tyler didn't like him, didn't like him, but there was a, but there was a sliver of hope that the jock loved him back. Alejandro sighed as Tyler began to wake up. He removed his fingers from Tyler's soft hair as the jock began to rise. Once Tyler was fully sitting up, he looked at up, he looked at Alejandro with a smile. Hey, Tyler said in a raspy voice. Hi, Hermoso. Alejandro responded with a matching smile. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> man! My oh my god, that's me after having one drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tyler said as he laid back down on Alejandro's chest. The younger boy's face went flush as he didn't expect that. 
Well, that's what happens when you get drunk, Amor. Oh my Alejandra. god, he so remembers kissing Alejandro. There ain't no way he acting like this right, right. now and not remember right? right? that he was just like got told that the dad was gay. He was like, oh man, like for real? That's awesome. <laughs> kiss <Yeah>. him, pass <laughs> Oh, gosh. Al, I have a question, Tyler said with a hushed voice, like whatever he was about to say was inappropriate. What do you need? Alejandro responded with a raised eyebrow. Well, you always call me amor, and I know that it means love, because I took Spanish in sophomore year. Tyler, pause. Do you, like, love me? Or something gay like that? <laughs> Tyler asked. <laughs> Bro obviously does not remember the kiss. Yeah. Of course, he himself had a crush on Alejandro, but he couldn't make that obvious because he was dating Lindsay and cheating. And cheating boyfriends are fucking losers who don't deserve any amount of love. And because he didn't know how his friend would respond, <laughs> I mean, he's got a point there. They're f- guys who cheat are fucking losers. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Alejandro went silent, <laughs> looked away from the jock. Tyler's eyes went huge, and his jaw dropped. Holy shit! You you do love me, he said quietly. Well, Tyler, let's uh, let's not um, put it like that. <laughs> Alejandro knew he got caught and was kind of stupid about it. Of course, he had a crush on Duncan and Noah while on this plane, but Tyler was the only one he's been in love with. It's okay if you do, Al. Just, you know, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Tyler smiled guiltily. He wanted to date Alejandro, but there was a, but there were ratings and viewers and friends and his girlfriend. There were too many factors. All right, Tyler. After Alejandro said that, Chris came on the intercom and announced the next challenge. I love that it's canon that he's that Alejandro has a crush on yeah. Duncan and Noah. Yeah, <laughs> but he's in love with Tyler. Right. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I never laugh so much at a book before this is oh please yeah. read this nah nah we're not no. right to number five chapter five i think what do you mean i think not of 2k reads i'll introduce the first angst chapter oh boy over i love angst yeah <laughs> if it's done right <laughs> then it's good yeah yeah all yeah, right me too. go ahead man <laughs> a few challenges have passed the final four alejandro tyler cody and sierra a lot happened in the past few weeks. For starters, Chris McLean got a call that Lindsay's father found found out t- found out Tyler and Lindsay, and w- and was suing the show unless Tyler broke up with her. He did. Tyler has had had his usual motivation since then. Alejandro got canceled, <laughs> as Sierra said, for for being gay and kissing Tyler when he obviously had a girlfriend. <laughs> Cody and Sierra have pretty much have pretty much been the same. Alejandro with a challenge, choosing Tyler to join him in first class. Of course, occasionally he he would choose Cody to join him, but 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 that but that was only on the days when Tyler insisted he wanted to be left alone. Dude, this is giving me the vibe of like like you leave for a little bit like um. Like, like, you and your best friend, you guys are pretty close. You, like, leave for, like, a, like a month or whatnot. You guys rekindle and whatnot. And they're like, so how's it been with the, like, like how's life? And you're yeah. like, oh, it's going pretty good. Um, Like, like this is, like, the drama that you would share. And you're like, huh? I missed all that? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just, like, jumped in and we're like, so, all right. So, like, Lindsay's father's suing the show because they were, Tyler and, and Lindsay were dating. And then Alejandro's got canceled yeah. <laughs> for being gay. Shit. Yep. <laughs> I love the you know. jump to all the. We didn't get the season in full. We just got to know the drama after. Right. Yeah, it's been great. Yep. <laughs> Cody and Sierra have pretty much been the same. Alejandro won the challenge choosing Tyler to join him first. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah, yeah, Tyler laid on the chair. <laughs> T- Tyler laid on ch- Tyler laid on the chair, looking lost. He felt sick and tired. He had so much love for Lindsay just for the for the relationship to end. Alejandro wa- watched him from a distance, concerned for his best friend. Fuck this man. I don't even want to be here anymore, Tyler whispered. He closed his eyes and started to cry. This happened quite a bit since the breakup. No. <laughs> Not the angst. <laughs> right? <laughs> Poor Tyler. Yeah. Tyler, me, me Vida, 
You have so much to live for. Think about your brothers, Alejandro made sure to remind him. Al was obviously hurt by his best friend's feelings. Al, when this show ends, I'm go- Oh my god. What- no! <laughs> Whoa, what? What the fuck? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Don't end your life because of a relationship. Especially when yeah. you're just 18. It's not like you pour 20 years into it, all right? Yeah, like, oh come my on! God, dude, that what? Is- oh my god, that's such toxic, like, thing to be like- yeah. Like, if you leave me, I'm going to go. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to read that. Uh, <laughs> Tyler said, giving, having his plan already made. <laughs> okay. Um, and before I I do, I want you to know, you're my best friend. Tyler started sobbing, wiping his tears and continued talking. You're my best friend. And I know you probably don't see me as yours. Tyler whispered, I think I love you, Alejandro. The, the brunette sobbed out. I love the <laughs> October and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> I was not ready for any of that. What? what kind of angst am I reading? Right? I, and I don't know how to feel about it because, fuck, liking guys isn't normal for someone like me, Al. Tyler whispered. Alejandro didn't know how to feel about this. He had hurt his best friend when crying. Oh, he just held his best friend while crying. Uh... Dios? Dios, you, Tyler. Dios, Tyler. Yo, tam, yo, yo tambien ti amo. Okay, God, Tyler. <laughs> okay, thank you for translating. <laughs> Alejandro muttered in Spanish. He rocked the, the jaw back and forth, trying to calm his breathing. Please don't, mi amor. I know breaking up with Lindsay hurt, but she'll never. But she never remembered you. Don't get mad at me for this, but you guys never made it. Would have never made it past high school. Alejandro whispered, trying to rip off the band-aid. Al, I'm so done now. I just... Tyler cut cut off his own sentence, deciding to plant his lips on Alejandro's. Oh. He felt the lingering kiss of the Spaniard's lips. Alejandro sat there in shock. Of course, this is what he wanted since the beginning, but it didn't... But he couldn't do this right now. Now while Tyler was hurting. Oh. How many hangs am I reading? <laughs> yeah, like, what was that? Hold oh, on. <laughs> All right, this is probably be the last thing that we read. <laughs> okay, and then maybe we'll pick up at some point. Maybe we'll add it to the wheel. Who knows? Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> thank you all so much for the support. The chapters are going to be longer. I'll set the night after Tyler and Al make out. Okay, <laughs> this chapter was a deep dive in Ty- Tyler's uh, thoughts in attempts since he and Lindsay broke up. No Alejandro thoughts in this chapter. He will be present though. All right. You want to go ahead? Yes. <laughs> a few hours had gone by. <coughs> Excuse me. A few hours have gone by since Alejandro and Tyler's little makeout session. Tyler's Tyler sat curried against the sea, crying his eyes out. He he hand he hand his hands tangled, his hands tangled in his own ta- in, in his own hair. He had his eyes clo- closed as hot tears rolled down his cheek. He cried quietly, growing. Gr- he cried quietly. Growing up, he, he he was always told, boys don't cry, but he couldn't help it right now. He hated himself. Why couldn't Lindsay's father just understand that Tyler was patient and loving with her? Tyler rocked himself back and forth. Ty- t- t- Tyler jerked jerked his head back, hitting his head on the seat on the on the seat's headrest. I wait a minute. This is season three, and Lindsay's father just found out that they were dating. Did he not watch season one where Lindsay was blatantly making out with him in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> what? How, how absent of a father is this? Right? <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> it just, like, clicked in my brain. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. They were chemistry for, like, the whole f- season one. Yeah. Where was her father then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay. After a few hours, Alejandro was sleeping and was su- and, and, and it was pretty much everyone... And so was pretty much everyone on the plane. Other than Tyler, Tyler sat up and walked to the bathroom. He had found one of Duncan's old knives from before from before he got eliminated last night. Tyler stripped himself. Uh. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I read ahead as you were reading that. I'm like, oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to look at it. No. Okay. <laughs> oh 
yep, yep, yep. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the neck hyperventilating whisper. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. I need. I think I needed to proofread this a little bit more before we picked this out. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I did not think um, suicide was going to be part of it. Holy shit. Yeah, that wasn't in the. Wait a minute. I need to confirm real quick. Just go back to this page real quick. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Just not less immature. There's no warning that this was going to happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to throw something. Me too. <laughs> I think we should stop there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just for future, I don't know if the author is going to watch this. And any mm-hmm. future authors that have like written similar stuff like this, please make sure you put the mature label on this and put trigger warnings in the description. Yes, please. Because you don't know what someone's going through. <laughs> exactly. When they're, like, they come to fan fiction to escape that stuff. If they're not actively seeking it out, make sure you put that shit as a warning, my yes, god. Please. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. Well <laughs> good way to wrap that up. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a wait, hold on. We were on chapter six, right? Yeah. The, all that happened? Next chapter is smut. How did the that go on to I I have no idea. <laughs> oh god. Well, oh lord. Well, oh. how, how, how do you feel? <laughs> um, that was something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to... I need to give these books to someone to proofread before I just... Yeah. Hit, hit go and hit start recording. Yeah. Because, uh, my God. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Me neither. Well, I guess if you guys would like to check out this book, I'll have it linked down below in the description. Uh, I'm gonna put a shit ton of disclaimers on this video before it even starts. Yes, please do. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't had, uh, like, a thing like that since the Clone High JFK thing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if you want to watch that one. It goes, like, way more into depth about, like, suicide yeah. and shit. Oh, And wow. I was like, okay. <laughs> god. <laughs> well... Well, thank you for joining me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know this uh, this whole thing has been a little chaotic. Yeah. With, like, moving around stiff to make sure we could get this recorded. But you know yep. what? <laughs> I had fun. Me too. <laughs> me too. Maybe next time, if we ever do another IRL reading, we gotta make sure we read a little bit more of the book. And maybe yeah. pick something that isn't Ella Tyler, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe a different book. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but um but anyway, I guess my name is Phoenix. Uh, that was Kenzie. I'll have her shit linked down in the description below. Check out her channel. She's pretty good about like her stuff. Yeah. You gotta upload more, dude. I, I know, I know. I I, I you know. Have, you have a fucking Wattpad video sitting in your like computer somewhere <laughs> I know. you have yet to publish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I guess we'll yeah. see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>